Okay, let's, uh, let's get at fractions, uh, finding common multiples. So remember, when we're going to be adding or subtracting, we got to make sure we have our common um, denominator. And to find common denominator, what we're going to do is we need to find a common multiple that uh, our denominators share. So one of the easier tricks to kind of look at is, you know, just to write out the multiples of each of your denominators. So if I was going to start it with 4, well, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 times 5 is 20. Then if I list the multiples of 3, I get 3, 6, 9, 12, and I'll stop right there. As you can see that they share a common multiple 12. So what that means is three, 4 and 3 both go into my multiple 12. So what I need to do is figure out, well, I need to get them both 12. So I need to figure out what do I need to multiply 4 by to get to 12? Well, the answer is 3. And what do I need to multiply 3 by to get to 12? Well, that answer is going to be 4. Now remember, since we're dealing with fractions, we want to keep these equivalent fractions. So what I'm going to do is I need to make sure I multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3 and 4. So now what I'll do is I just simply multiply across. 3 times 3 is going to give me 9. And 3 times 4 is going to be 12. 1 times 4 is going to give me 4. And 3 times 4 is going to give me 12. So now what you guys can see is now I can simply add up my answer. And what I'll end up getting is 13 over 12. Now, so that's one way to find your equivalent uh, multiple. That's one tip. Another way to look at it is to simply just say, well, what you guys noticed up here is all I did was multiply my one denominator by the other denominator, right? And a lot of times that's going to work. So you can do that. For this problem, let's just skip the chase and let's just multiply by the other multiple or the other denominator. So I'll multiply this by 6 over 6. In this problem, I'll multiply by 4 over 4. And that kind of gets away of a lot of the guesswork that I'm going to have to do. So therefore, I'll be left with 18 over 24 plus uh, 5 times 4 is 20 over 24. Add those two up, I get 38 over 24. Now, I'll get to the reducing this down in a second. But what you notice is since these are both even numbers, I can reduce it. But I wanted to show you a quick little way. A lot of times this works. But however, this isn't always the quickest way because if you notice, I now have to reduce my ending fraction. So that's why it's always important to find the lowest common multiple. And the lowest common multiple is not 24, but it's actually 12, as 4 and 6 both go into 12. So to get into 12, I need to multiply this by 3 over 3. And to get 6 to be 12, I need to multiply by 2 over 2. Therefore, when doing this, I now get 9 over 12 plus 10 over 12 which equals 19 over 12, which if I were to reduce this by dividing it by 2 on the top and bottom, I would get 19 twelfths. So just be careful. Even though this works for all of them, um, you want to find your lowest common multiple. Therefore, you already have your reducing done for you.